Hmm. You're not going to catch a lot of fish on this river, are you? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you earn every fish. Well, that wind makes it. Now, there was a fish further up. I boy, right there. What do you think? I think that was a smaller fish. Yeah. The wind blew kind of you off. Took that to the right. But notice what you're doing. You're fishing it all the way back. Oh yeah. See, I don't know where the fish could be, and I'm just. Uh, I can see that fly. It had a good drift. Yeah. Drag free. Okay, we'll try one more over in that. Now that maybe that, went, went too that far looked, to the bank. Well, I don't think. I tell you, I saw one in that. That, that well, it was at that point whether mm -hmm. it stayed there or not. We were just into this very now. See, there was within a, about 15 feet up from us is where those fish were rising, and they're not. See, there's some. There's fish. another one up there. Yeah. Well, if we don't see something, another one rising here, I think we're just going to keep easing up there, even if we are pushing them. Oh, there's. See that? We just bumped a big fish. He came drifting down and ran right into us and blew out of here. Mm -hmm. That's a problem when it's inconsistent because you don't think that they're there and so you start easing up and mm -hmm. what they've done is just not rose, not fed while we've been moving. It's always a tough call when you see fish rising ahead of you, whether you think to just keep right on going or whether you should have well, they patience. They kind of generally work a little pattern and so if you get mm -hmm. into the bottom of their, their little uh, beat they're making, then when they drift down you're, you're going to bump in. Oh, right there. there. There's a fish rose. Yep. Well, that one is definitely in range. Good cast. You should have seen that. Yep. Yeah, as long as he's still there. Now, I, I would go to his left in the next cast just to see if he moved to the left. Because you were kind of, I thought you were kind of the right of him. Okay. Uh-oh. You think that was him moved up I a little know. further? So you run the risk of lining that other fish. Yeah. I'll try one a little more to the left. That left is a hard cast because the wind yep, caught you there. blowing against it. A nice cast there, Mike. Well, you almost have to believe you're going over something. Unless the fish just kind of grab, sneak up on the bank and see if I can spot him. Well, you can almost cast from the bank now with the wind died down, but about the time you get up there, it'll kick up again. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here, I Mike, saw I saw that. the fish. I saw that too. Yep, I saw him actually well, take the emerger. That may be what we better try on him, see if that right there. fly of yours is, is a better yep. option than this ant. Your little, little left. Yep, now here's there's a dun coming right over him, and he didn't take it. He's not going to take the dun. That is so, that's <laughs> something. That ant is pretty close. Well, at least they're not moving. Doesn't seem to be. Why don't you try that emerger on him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide out around you and see if, see if maybe that's a little better option. You get this fly in the keeper and kind of slide back here. I don't know if that thing's going to sink down right or not. Let's just take a look at it. I always like to look and see how my fly is on the water. Eh, it looks pretty good. Probably needs to sink a little bit more, I'm afraid. But get through this 12-foot leader.
What I'm going to do, Mike, is go to the bank and measure out my cast. Yeah, that's a good move. Oh, hell, I don't even know where I'm at. Okay, I see. Where's it? Wouldn't you know it, the minute I cast, the wind would come up. Yeah. Well, that well, was a little fish. That was, there. yeah. There, that looks good. It may be a little high. We may have to go down. Ooh, you see that fish? There's, an, oh. you know, there's a number of fish along here. It's just that they're into this one or two rises and then they're done. See, there that one was again up there. I'm talking maybe a hundred feet up the. I don't river. think this seaway is going to reach it. Oh, what is it? Hmm. That's sure. Okay, there we go. Yep. Fish is staying put. Yeah, I went right over him. May need to lead him a little bit more than that, but nah, it's gonna blow out. I think. Well, maybe not. I can see it. it. It looked pretty good, and then it started to drag a little bit. Okay. Ah, caught me again. I think. Uh, what I'm going to do is while you're... Whoop. Go ahead, because I'm going to be tr changing flies. I think I'm going to try something different. Too. Ah, blew that. What the heck happened there? Oh, I know that I was a saw. big trout right there. I don't think he likes that, Mike. No, he's not. I don't know how much more to try him with this fly. Hate it when they do that. And by gosh, he was there anyway, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, that helps if I have a fly drifting right. I thought I said, geez, I was casting along and it was tangled. Well, I'm going to uh, rethink this fly. I think it went up. I think it went over well enough to me to think about switching. All right, well, I'm going to try something else here. All right, let me switch on the other side of you. I got to. Okay. What are, you, what are you trying now? I so put I, a little smash down, no hassle. It looks like an emerger. Okay. Well, there's another one up there. I mean, there's fish all along here. You oh, just yeah. got to find out what they're going to eat. I wish this fly would sit a little lower in the water. That fish up above is, is tempting because he's rising so much better yeah. than these are. Oh, there's that one. Our big one back? He's further up. There's a really tough current there.
Oh, look at them up there. There's about three of them went at the same time. I don't think I can take it anymore. I think I'm going to have to go up there. Well, I'm putting on a little uh, CDC emerger. Those fish up there, I've got a notion to try a little, something a little different. I think what I'd like to do is get out and walk around and come in above them. Now what's that going to do to the fish below? Well, we'll get out and we'll have to walk up there quite a ways okay. and slip back into the river so that we're kind of fishing out in and down this between the wind and these currents. I think some of the problem we're having is uh, drag. Yep. No? Well, that wind's blowing your line up. Yeah. 